Organizers said it was one of the country's largest demonstrations since the fall of communism in 1989. Decked out in the red and white colors of the nation, half a million Poles took to the streets in Warsaw to say no to authoritarian Poland. 34 years on from the country's emergence from the communist regime, protesters say the government has reversed many of the freedoms gained. People travelled from across the country for a show of force called by former Prime Minister and head of the centrist opposition party, Donald Tusk. We're here today so that Poland, Europe and the world sees how strong we are, how many of us are ready, just like back then, 30, 40 years ago, to fight again for democratic and free Poland, to fight for our rights. Their fight is with the populist, nationalist Law and Justice Party, in power since 2015. It stands accused of eroding the rule of law, turning state media into a government mouthpiece, endorsing homophobia and attacking women's rights. I came here to defend democracy because I can't stand how the parliament and the constitutional tribunal are being destroyed and the European Union is diminished. I believe that this change is happening, that this transformation is necessary and will surely happen. Slowly but surely. But despite the criticism at home and abroad of the Polish government, Russia's war in neighbouring Ukraine has given it a boost as it's emerged as a leading voice against the Kremlin in Europe. Opinion polls show an election due after the summer will be closely fought.